What's going on guys? It's time for my favorite series here on my channel once again, the Minnesota Vikings franchise series. We're playing against the 3-0 Arizona Cardinals this game, and they had an early bye week, so they're only 3-0. We'll check out their team here. They're struggling on the ground, both Beanie Wells and Ryan Williams, but we gotta focus on shutting down Larry Fitzgerald. Uh, very good receiver. I wish he was a Minnesota Viking. And uh, I know he was a Vikings fan growing up. He used to be a Vikings ball boy. So I really would like to see him in purple. But I know he got locked up for a long-term contract with the Cardinals. So it's probably not going to happen. And we had to make some room on this roster for a new player. So I cut Asher Allen and signed Sean Jones. Because both of our starting free safeties, I believe, are injured. So Sean Jones gets the nod to start alongside Hussein Abdullah. And we'll get into the action here. We have the ball. Ponder back to pass. Horrible game last week, but he gets the pass off to Burris here, so it's a good start. You know, just get Ponder some completions, help him get acquainted. And now Ponder's going to take off and just draw off the defender and hit Burris for an open completion to the 34 yard line. That will lead to a field goal. And now we got Arizona with the ball. And there's Ryan Williams who breaks a tackle. And here's my best impression on how to dive too early to make the tackle. And Ryan Williams busts off a 59 yard touchdown whiffs all over the place just gotta play better on my part that's all second and inches now Fitzgerald in motion and Cobb back to pass and Kevin throws it over the middle or the right side and that's gonna be complete to Larry Fitzgerald and now on third and three a pitch out left to Ryan Williams and Greenway gets him but just after he crosses the first down marker so they keep this drive going and Cobb to pass on first down, and there is Ryan Williams out of the backfield. Sean Jones gets him after a first down, but Ryan Williams making some big plays here early. Now, Cobb on third and ten. He's going to take the ball back, drop, and hit Austin Pettis, who was on our team last year, and he's going to be short of the first down, so they settle for a field goal, and we are unable to do anything on offense. So here's some more Arizona Cardinals, and they're going to go deep left side. Cobb looking for his man, and it is incomplete. Hussein Abdullah with the coverage, so good defense so far from the Vikings, but very dismal offense, and there's a sack. Dan Williams on Christian Ponder. Maybe we should get him a rebuild that Williams wall. Second and ten now. Cobb back to pass. We get the pressure, but it's a screen out to Ryan Williams. That's going to be good for about seven yards, getting to the Minnesota 42. So now we got third and three, and Cobb gives it to Williams, and he just follows his blockers, and Abdullah tackles him after he picks up the first down. So Ryan Williams not playing like a 2.8 yard per carry running back in this game, and now Cobb is going to step up in the pocket. Plenty of running room, and he gets scared to Taylor Mays, so he slides to a first down. And now they got third and eight, Cobb to pass, looking left. That's going to be way short. Austin Pettis, and he... On, he breaks the tackle of Winfield and gets to the one yard line. You can't let that happen. Now Cobb, end zone, Fitzgerald. Great play, Winfield. Second and goal. Now we'll go to third on the three yard line. Cobb to pass. Plenty of time looking left. And a great play to knock that away. I wish I could read the number from here, but I can't. So they had to kick a field goal on that drive. And now we are here in the third quarter. And Cobb with the pass. And he's hit by Williams. And then taken down by Robinson. It's going to be a huge loss. Bring up third and 19. And then they would eventually punt to Kenyon Barner. Got some blockers back with him. Taking up the right side. He's got some space. He's got some speed. And he gets to the 40 yard line. So we got good field position. And we really need to get the offense going. So here's Ponder back to pass. Protection breaks down and it's picked off. And the Cardinals take over after the interception by McGraw. He's bottled up quickly. But the offensive continues to struggle. And so Cobb now with the ball. He gives it to Ryan Williams. And that's going to be another first down. Converting on third down. Converting on third down is one of the most important aspects of the game. Here's second and seven. And there's a pass to Austin Pettis. Trying to do some damage against his former team. We didn't even give him a lot of playing time last year. So he's probably very angry. Now third and one. There's Beanie Wells. And to add some insult to injury. We got a face mask call. Who was it? It was Remy Adel. Great play. So we give the Cardinals a few extra yards, and now Cobb play action to Wells, looking over the middle, and they're going to call pass interference on Xavier Adibi. So we continue to shoot ourselves in the foot. We don't need this. Now first and goal from the six, Cobb to pass again, end zone fits, Gerald, touchdown, Cardinals. It is 20-3. 
and the Vikings are not playing good football. Third and four, Ponder is drilled. Not much protection there. That's Ernie Sims with the sack. And now second and four later, Ponder to pass. That's complete to Plaxico Burris. So there's a first down, something going at least. Burris will be shaken up a little bit. And Ponder to pass now on third and ten. And the protection breaks down again, and that's Eric Walden coming off the edge, working on Chris DeGear, our right tackle. And we have not had a lot of luck at that position in this series, but here's first and ten. Ponder scrambles out of the pocket to avoid the pressure that he saw coming, and it's picked off by Stuart Bradley. So, all around the offense just played awful. Here's Ponder to pass again. This time, Percy Harvin beats Richard Marshall. And he's going to outrun the defense, take this one to the house, 69 yards. But we still got a huge hole to dig ourselves out of. 13 points down, and now Ryan Williams with the ball. He's going to take this up the left side, just punishing our run defense over 100 yards on the day. And here's Ponder later, and it's picked off by Richard Marshall, looking for Emmanuel Arsenault. Marshall making up for that blown coverage on Percy Harvin, and he takes it in for six. So that's the way this game ended. We lost 36-10. And the offense now for a few weeks has just looked dead. Ten points in this game. We'll check it out. Ponder out through Cobb in yards. Po he only had to throw for a buck 19, but that's because Ryan Williams played so well. 26 carries, 150 yards. AP had a good average. We played from so far down, we were forced to pass it. Pettis leads the game in receiving. Hurt Harvin with 78 yards and Peterson with 49. Fitzgerald with a touchdown. Greenway led the game in tackles, but... The defense has been playing well for the most part, but the offense has not been giving them any help, and the Arizona defense really played well against us and caused a lot of havoc for Christian Ponder. So now we go to our bye week, and here are the injuries we have. We got Garrick Williams, our rookie middle linebacker, and Donald Butler, our starter, along with a couple of safeties. So we got to step up the offense after our bye week, and after this, we will be taking on the Detroit Lions in a very important NFC North matchup. And here are a couple of videos for you guys to check out. On the top left, we have the last episode in this series when the Vikings played against the Houston Texans on the road. And on the bottom right is my last Modern Warfare 3 live commentary I posted. More to come, so if you guys like variety, you can watch a couple other videos and enjoy the first-person shooters mixed in with the majority of sports videos. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys are enjoying this series.